Ever wondered why your content doesn't rank on Google? Well, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create SEO content that can rank on Google. So if you're a blogger, content writer, or anyone who creates content, then keep watching. So without any delay, let's get into the video. I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's get started. Now, to create SEO content that ranks on Google, we are going to do seven simple steps that you need to follow. The first step is to choose a topic. If you already have a topic in mind, then you can skip this and go to the next step. However, if you don't know what topic to choose, we have an AI tool that can generate topic ideas for your content. So just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this tool. Here you need to enter what your blog is about. For example, I'm going to enter fitness and click create content. As you can see, it has given us a list of blog ideas like fitness tips for beginners, home workouts, and it has also suggested blog titles for those keywords. Okay, let me choose fitness tips for beginners. Now, once we have this keyword, we have to find its long tail keyword. Basically, long tail keywords are phrases which will have three or more words that people use while searching online. For example, the long tail keyword for SEO optimization could be how to do SEO optimization. For a new blog, this would be a relatively easy keyword to rank for rather than aiming for a short keyword which would have a lot more competition. Let's copy the keyword. Then go here. Search for long tail keyword. Paste the keyword here. And click create content. As you can see, we have got a list of long tail keywords. And once we have these keywords, we have to find out the exact keyword that people will search for. To do that, just copy the keyword you want. Then go to Google. Paste it here. And click enter. Now if we scroll down to the bottom, here you will find the list of keywords that people are searching for. And these are all highly relevant keywords for our topic. So let's go to the next step, which is to find out how many people are searching for these keywords. This will help us to find the best keywords for our blog. So to do that, Let's copy all these keywords, then click the link below this video and it will take you to Keyword Planner. Now this is the site that will help us choose the right keywords. So let's click here, sign up with your Google account, then here choose no option, click submit and click explore keyword planner. Then select this option and then you will get this page. Here we need to paste all the keywords which we copied before and click get started. As you can see, we have got the results here. Now to know which topic will be good, we need to select one which has good search traffic. From these results, you can see that this topic has good traffic. So let's choose this topic and create content for it. So let's copy the topic. Now before we create the content, we need to find out what type of content we need to create. So let's go to the next step, which is to find out the type of content we need to create for our topic. So there are four main types of content that rank on Google. Blog posts, product pages, category pages, and landing pages. If you want to find what type of content you need to create for your topic, first look at what's already ranking at the top. To do that, open a new tab and paste our topic here. As you can see, it's mostly blog posts. So it is clear that we have to make a blog post if we want Google to notice and rank our content. Okay, so now you know what type of content you're going to create. And now you can go to the next step, which is to create the headline for your blog post. Creating a good headline is important to attract viewers to click on your content. If you optimize your headlines with the correct keywords, it will not only improve your ranking on Google, but it'll also improve the viewer's engagement. Also, when you create one on your own, make sure it is attractive, concise, and relevant to your content. If you're struggling to write good headlines, there are a few simple formulas that you can use. Just take a screenshot before I start filling in the blanks. For example, for the topic of healthy diet, we can create different headlines like how to craft a healthy diet plan, seven proven ways to maintain a healthy diet, four simple ways to start a healthy diet challenge, three reasons your healthy diet isn't working. You can also use Gravity Write to help you with this and get even more ideas for your headline. So let's go to Gravity Write, then scroll down here, and go to SEO Optimize Blog Package. 
then paste the topic name which we have copied earlier then here we need to enter the sample headlines which we got in the search results so just go back to this tab then copy and paste the sample headlines one by one once you're done you can click here to choose the format of your content whether you want it to be a how-to guide step-by-step -step tutorial a list post a review or a comparison now if we search for a topic on google you can see that most of the content we get is in a list format so we will also create a blog post in a list format so let's go back to gravity right choose list post click save and continue and it's done here you can see that we have got three different tools each of them helps us create a headline outline and an intro for our blog post so let's see how to create them one by one now to generate the blog headline click create content here and you can see that it has generated different headlines for our blog post so just select the one you want i'm going to choose this one we can go to the next step which is to create an outline creating an outline for your blog post is very important as it will give you a clear structure for your content which makes it easier for the reader now to create an outline you can go through all the top ranked blog posts and see how they have been structured and create one on your own or you can easily generate an outline on gravity right itself so just go to gravity right under blog headline you can see that there's an option called blog outline just copy the headline of your choice then paste it here and click create content you can see that it has generated the outline you can go through it and edit it even if you want once you have the headline and outline we can go to the next step which is to create an intro for our blog the intro is the most important part of the blog post so first it must immediately hook and engage the reader second it should clearly explain why the topic is important to the readers by addressing their interests and concerns and finally it should give a quick overview of what your content will cover so there's an app formula which you can use to create an intro for your blog post now app stands for agree with the reader promise with the results and preview the content let me show you an example of how an intro is made using the app method so here you can see an intro and the first line agrees with the reader then the next line promises the result and the last line shows a preview of the content so you can use the same method to create an introduction for your blog post or if you want you can create an intro on gravity right itself just enter the headline here click create content and you can see we've got three different intros to choose from so you can go through them and select the one you want i like this one so i'm going to choose this okay once we have the intro we can start creating the blog post on our wordpress dashboard so let's go there then we need to enter the headline and the intro which we just created from gravity right once you're done we can now go to the final step which is to create the content for our blog post so when you start writing the content for your blog post there are three important points that you need to keep in mind the first point is to provide valuable and engaging information that most importantly meets the promises that you made in the intro the second one is to organize your content with clear headings and subheadings you can also add bullet points if you want third one add relevant images and make your blog look good now since we already got the headline outline and the intro from our blog from gravity right why not use it to create the content for our blog post too so we don't need to write a single word we can just let gravity right generate an amazing blog for us in just a single click so let's go to gravity right search for blog content and here we have to enter the headline of our blog now let's enter the outline which we generated earlier then click here and select the tone you want i'm going to select professional and click create content and you can see that gravity right has generated the blog content for us you can go through it and make the changes wherever you want to and then just go ahead and add the content to your blog post okay we're almost done and now we have the headline intro and the content for our blog post but when you look at it we only have written content which might bore our readers so to make it more engaging we can add some images to it so to add images there are different tools on the internet where you can get images for free like pexels pixabay and unsplash i'm going to use pexels to get my free images for my blog so just click the link below this video and it will take you to pexels.com here you can get free stock images which you can add to your blog post just search for the image you want i'm going to search for fitness then you will get different images to choose from just select the image you want and click download now if you're not able to find the image you want there's another tool called ideogram 
which can generate the exact image that you're looking for. Just click the link below this video and it will take you to this page. Now here you have to describe the image that you want to generate and it will generate the image. Now instead of describing every single image on your own, there's a tool on Gravity Red which can generate great prompts for the images specifically for your blog. So let's go back to Gravity Right, copy the outline and here right below the blog content, you will find an option called Image Brief for Blog. So let's go there, paste the outline here and click Create Content. As you can see, it has generated different prompts for us to choose from. So just go through them and select the one you want, copy it. Then let's go to ideagram.ai and paste the prompt here. Here you can choose the style of the image. I'm going to choose illustration, select the aspect ratio and click generate. You can see it has generated the image in different variations. So just select the image you want. Click here and download it. Now I want to add this image to my blog as a featured image. So let's go there. Click set featured image. Then click select files. Then choose the image we just downloaded from ideagram and click set featured image. You can see that the featured image has been added. In the same way, you can generate all the images you need and add them to your blog post. Once you're done, click publish. Now if we click here, you can see that our blog post is live on the internet. Okay, so now you've created the complete blog post. Similarly, you can follow the same steps and create your own blog post. So that's it guys. This is how you can create SEO content that can rank on Google. Now if you already have content for a website that you want to do SEO for, you can go ahead and watch this video. Or if you want to know how to write a blog using AI, then you can watch this video. If you guys found this video helpful, do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.